Well, first off, um, the Jürgensen 1745 collection is named from the founder, Jürgen Jürgensen, whose birth year was 1745. And within that collection, uh, which all starts with the figure one, we have now this year done um, a variant uh, of a perpetual calendar that we named uh, 1741. And the 1741, uh, one is for the main collection of Jürgensen, the seven is the complication. This is a perpetual calendar with leap year. And the 41 is actually the diameter of the watch, which makes it uh, easy to comprehend uh, the naming structure that we have. And the reference 1741 is executed um, with the new Grenage dial, which is all handmade, hand lacquered, and we have applied our uh, white gold numerals as well on the dial surface. Um, it is executed in uh, the traditional Urban Jürgensen teardrop lug uh, case and uh, bears the hallmarks of all our uh, classical uh, watch designs in the Jürgensen uh, 1745 collection. And we're very happy with this watch. It's an uh, all-in-house movement. So the um, uh, P4 base movement delivers the basic uh, engine. And then we have, ex we have uh, expanded um, and augmented the QP functionality with a leap year indication. And uh, we're very, very happy with, uh, with how this has turned out. Uh, it's a real classical uh, perpetual. It's a little bit rare as a perpetual because it has a sweep seconds. And many perpetuals on the market has a second, but it's a small second somewhere on the dial. But this has a ground uh, sweep second, so you really, despite the fact it's a perpetual that keeps track of years and leap years, etc., it shows you very clearly that it's alive on an everyday basis by the sweep hand uh, going across the dial. Uh, so this is the um, new um, reference 1741.